to my channel if you're new here my name is alana I'd love you guys to subscribe button down below to become a part of the family retain subscriber hi welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell by the title today i'm giving you guys another flawless install video and this hair was provided to me by mega look hair so thank you to mega look hair for sending me this beautiful bob wig now you guys will see me styling this wig now i did get inspiration from arrogant tay when he did do janita's hair i will insert a clip of the inspiration i was going for so that's the look i was going for with this hairstyle and i think i did pretty good you guys i mean not too shabby or whatever i mean i think i did pretty good so it's one of, it's a 10 inch bob wig it's in the little clips i'm showing you guys he did baby hairs but not really so that was the same look that i was going for as well so i kind of just did like two little swoops on the side and i think it came out pretty cute um this hair was actually really really good i'm actually really happy with the way everything turned out it took to bleaching very well at first i thought i over bleached my knots but i actually didn't so i was so happy about that there was like a few pieces that was like blonde but i just took like a sharpie and just covered it up really quickly but other than that this hair was actually really really good and you guys know when i do do these hair videos all opinions are mine and i'm not sugarcoating anything i'm being 100 percent truthful and i did not have any problems with this hair at all the wig i actually really enjoyed because it fit my head now a lot of times with wigs i have problems with it being too small and it not fitting ear to ear but this wig fit amazingly it was so amazing and i love how much space i have with this wig it wasn't too small and none of that it fits my head perfectly how everything came up out up close um you guys can see i did bleach my knots in this video you guys will see it's and up to bleaching super duper well um, you guys will hear me mention it in the beginning of the video saying how much i thought it was a good idea but actually i don't think it was a good idea it did include this strap in the wig like so it was basically sewed in and you guys will see that in the intro of the video and i was like oh my gosh that is such like a perfect idea like usually they don't come like sewn in on the wig already you have to do it yourself and i'm like that is so smart but it actually became very annoying throughout this process um of bleaching my knots it was just in the way and then also installing the wig on my head it was just in the way and actually on this side you guys can't really see it but there is a space where they sewed in this piece this band of, of on the wig and you can kind of see it still on the lace where my ear is and it's kind of annoying so that's the only thing i did not like about this wig but other than that everything worked out perfectly fine it is one metrical cut to it which i thought was really really cute so you guys can see it kind of goes from like long to short and this is how the wig came i did not do this this is how it came it came literally like that long to short type of asymmetrical cut and then on this side is just all one length but honestly you guys this hair feels super duper soft it feels so flowy like you guys can see like the shine it gives like it's so beautiful it's very thick and it's very full which i also love it was just this band right here just giving me a hard time but other than that um everything turned out perfectly fine for me plucking i'm actually think i'm getting really better at plucking before i was not a fan of plucking but i'm actually getting like super duper like so much better at plucking i'm so proud of myself because i plucked this whole wig myself i don't know i think it's really cute though like everything came out super duper cute it's very flowy like it's the bob for me like it's the bob for me you guys like look how flowy this hair is but like i said everything was perfectly fine it took the bleaching well it took the plugging well everything was perfectly fine the only con i did have with this wig was that the elastic band sewed into the wig it was just so annoying and it was just starting to create so many problems for me and i was really getting agitated with it and so i just cut the whole thing out but other than that everything was good um yeah everything is perfectly fine i really do um enjoy this hair but if you guys want to see how i pluck this hair how i bleach this hair how i style this hair where i got my inspiration from all that good stuff you guys should continue watching and please please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for how i get this hairstyle because if y'all want to see how to get some short bob hair and just keep on watching hey loves and welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell by the title i am back with another hair install video and it is going to be on this beautiful wig right here and this wig is from the company mega look hair so this is how the box look it's a cute little pink box or whatever so i'm gonna show you guys what came in here so when you open it of course comes the wig and then you have these two little um goodies that come in here i'm gonna show you guys what came in this little pouch and it does come with some eyelashes and can we just talk about this packaging really quickly like i think that is so cute so here are the lashes they came with and they just look like this 
Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear them today, we'll see, but I think they're really cute. They kind of remind me of like a nice wispy type of lash. So I think that's really cute how they do come with eyelashes in here. With this little pouch, so I'm gonna just show you guys what came in here as well. Um, in here, we just have some more eyelashes. I don't know if these are the same ones or different ones. Um, let's see. I think they are the same ones. So here's the eyelashes again, another view of them. Um, which is in here came with some I believe this is a headband or a head wrap I'm not too sure um came with some clips in here oh this is a fancy clip okay it's like a checkered print that's cute it came with a little edge brush I love when companies get out these ed edge brushes because they help me a lot when my other ones get old and rusty and lastly this came with some wig caps in this 10 inches um you guys can see by the hairline um it is not pre-plucked at all you guys can see um i have to go in and pluck all this hairline out you guys will see me doing this doing that in the video but i'm just going to show you guys the hairline and how everything looks so this is what it's looking like and it's not pre-plucked at all which i'm kind of um it's okay whatever i'm just gonna have to do more work so I guess that's whatever but it is 10 inches let me just show you guys how long it is and you guys will see how long it is on me when i do put this wig on my head so and you guys can obviously see i have to bleach the knots because it's like really really black show you guys the inside of the wig and honestly love how this wig has a built-in strap back here because a lot of wigs don't do that they just give you the strap to do it yourself i think that's so cool how it's like already installed in the wig because i think that's so cool because you guys know sometimes you just want to throw a wig on and you really don't want to glue it down or anything like that so if you guys want to see me slay this wig bleach the notch pluck the hairline and really just style this wig completely different and how it looks on my head just continue to watch and stay tuned because we're gonna slay this hair okay we definitely definitely are gonna slay this hair so continue watching so to bleach my knots i just used the bw2 clarisol powder and i volume developer as well so i'm gonna use both of these and mix these up until i get a thick consistency things done after the hair has been sitting and the knots have been bleached i am going to go in with my purple shampoo to winch this hair out and get all the bleach out of it and i just use my little bowl and my little brush and i got this from a local beauty supply store if you guys are wondering i'm also sure you can get this from amazon or anything like that so this is what i'm going to use to mix up my bleaching powder Hey y'all, back with another voiceover. So I'm gonna be voicing over the rest of the parts of the video. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing step by step and all that good stuff. So in this part right here, I am bleaching my knots and I showed you guys in the earlier clips of what powder and developer I used. So here I am just putting the bleach on my lace and I just make sure that the consistent canula. I can't even talk. The consistency is thick like toothpaste because we don't want this bleach seeping through our lace and getting on the hair. So you wanna make sure your consistency for your bleaching powder is thick. So in this clips here, I will be plucking the hair and plucking is very crucial with these wigs because we want our wigs to look as natural as possible and as natural as, as we can get it, okay? We want this wig to be giving scalp, okay? Scalpiana. So, um, in this clip, I will be plucking the whole hairline, and I think I did pretty good. Um, like I said in the earlier clips, I think I'm actually getting better at plucking my hair because before, I was, like, really bad at plucking my hairline. But I think the key thing just with plucking your hairline is to just make sure you don't stay in one spot because if you stay in one spot when plucking your lace, you will get a bald spot. So just make sure you are using different movements and not staying in one spot and as you go along just make sure you're combing through the hair you guys can see in these clips i am taking my comb and brushing through the hair to just kind of give me um kind of give me like a sense of direction of where i'm at when plucking so just make sure you take your comb from each part you do from plucking because it kind of gives you a better visual representation of 
where you're at where you're plucking because like i said you just don't stay in the same spot because you don't want no ball spots and i think i did pretty good with my plucking like i said this wig was not pre-plucked or if it was it did not look pre-plucked but i'm pretty sure it wasn't pre-plucked at all so i just tried my best with plucking and i think i did a pretty pretty good job so you guys can see me sectioning off the hair and then i'm just taking my tweezers and behind that hair piece i am plucking the hair because sometimes behind that hair in the front is kind of thick and you guys will see i will show you guys um a side-by-side -side comparison of the pluck side of the wig and the non-pluck side you guys will see like the difference that it makes when you're plucking the wig and versus when it's not plucked because it's a huge dif difference trust me you will see you can definitely tell when a wig is not plucked like it just does not give that scalp effect and it just looks wiggy you know like we don't want our wigs to look wiggy we want our wigs to look laid and snatched okay we don't want no wiggy looking wigs <laughs> we want our wigs to look snatched and slayed that's that's the look we're going for all year round okay so yeah that's what i'll be doing in these next few clips so you guys will just um see me plucking more and more and just making sure i get my hairline as natural as possible so you guys can see here i plucked really really well i actually shocked myself with the plucking on this wig i i think i did really good like i'm really proud of myself so you guys can see on this side is the side i did not pluck and then the other side is the side i did pluck and you guys can see a huge difference like look at the difference of the two sides of plucked versus not plucked like it's just a huge 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 difference like look at that it's crazy it's honestly crazy how big of a difference this makes but it makes a huge huge difference so I'm going to just continue to pluck, 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 and I will see you guys in the next few clips, and I think I will be doing the flat iron and all the other stuff, so I will be back to talk to you guys with those other parts. So, just continue watching to see me plucking my hair. Also, if you guys want me to do an in-depth video dedicated to just plucking, I can surely, surely do that. Just comment down below if you guys would like to see that, and give this video a thumbs up, because I would definitely do that for you guys, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next few clips. In this clip here, this is literally all the hair that came from plucking. Like, that is literally, literally crazy. Like, it was a lot of hair. But you guys can see here, this is the hair plucked. And it's giving, okay? It's giving what it's supposed to give. And I was so, so happy. And I was so excited. So, yeah, y'all can see, like, I did that, okay? I did that. <laughs> So yeah, it is time to get this wig flat, okay? Like I said, we don't want our wigs to look wiggy. We want our wigs to give scalp. So with that being said, this is honestly, I think, the most important part when getting your wig to lay super duper flat. So to do this, I use my Holy Grail She Is Bomb Wax Stick. I got it from my local beauty supply store. I believe they also have it on Amazon as well. And then I go in with my hot comb. Now, these two together are like the best combo when it comes to wigs because this, I'm telling you guys, this combo right here is the best combo ever. Just with the mix of the wax stick and then the heat from the hot comb, it just gets my wigs super duper flat. And with partnering by section by section is also really, really helpful because it gets the each part to be able to get flattened out. So we're not just going over the whole part itself we're, we're sectioning it off part by part what gives it even more just the flat look i guess you can say this is i'm telling you guys like this is major for my wigs like this literally like it's my favorite duo when it comes to wearing a wig i cannot do a wig without having my she is bomb wax stick and my hot comb like i have to have both of them with me at all times when giving my wig to lay flat okay so that's what i'm doing in these clips i'm just taking it section by section using my hot comb using my sheets bomb wax stick also this hot comb i did purchase from walmart I, it's the andis 
hot comb and it is a really good hot comb i definitely recommend it so if you guys want i can leave a link in the description box down below for you guys because this is a really good hot comb it's like so good like it gets hot super duper quick and it's just amazing so if you guys want i can leave a link in the description box down below so that's what i'm doing these few clips here and i am going for a side part because like i said earlier i did get this inspiration from arrogant tay when he did jania's hair so that's what the look i was going for so he did put her hair in the side part so that's what i was going for as well so i try my best to get mine to look like his because y'all know his work is amazing so i honestly get inspiration from all of his looks they're all amazing and i love them all honestly so that's the look i was going for a little cute side part um asymmetrical bob so that's the look we was going for today and i think i did pretty pretty good I, i'm really proud of myself with this whole install like i'm really really happy with the way everything came out and i just took it step by step just taking my time and it was awesome i loved it came out so good Okay guys, so time for the installation part. And you guys can see I did show you guys um, alcohol because I did just wipe off the hairline area before I did apply this wig, just wiping off any of the excess makeup that I did have previously from doing my makeup. So yeah, here I am just trying on the wig, just making sure my wig cap is not too far down and it's not showing through my lace. And you guys can see right here, this is my lace up close. Honestly, it looks so good. This wig took bleaching so 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 well i'm so happy because it looks so good but yeah so i will be using ghost bond glue and i actually want to try a different lace glue um i think i want to try the erica by j next so if you guys want i can do a video on that i think i'm going to purchase that next because i really want to try a new glue there's nothing wrong with ghost bond but i just want to try a different glue you know i've been using ghost bond for months now and i just want to try a different one so yeah 
I think I did about two layers of ghost bond. Um, because I don't plan on keeping this wig on long, so I just did about two layers. So you guys will see here, I just um here I'm applying the wig on to my glue, and I'm just making sure everything is lined up perfectly fine. And the lace was kind of getting in the way, so I had to like cut off all that excess because it was just getting in the way and it was getting annoying. So you guys will see in the later clips I am like cutting off some of the lace because it was just in the way. Um, maybe next time I should try like sectioning it off when applying a wig, like do like section by section. I think I'm gonna try that next because this lace was just in the way. So I just had to cut off all that excess before I did anything. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing in these few clips here, you guys can see. And I'm just, I love using a razor to cut off my lace because one time I have tried using scissors and it's just nothing compared to like the razor effect because the razor gives you that jagged edge look and honestly when you use scissors it makes a huge difference so i just use a razor you guys can see here i'm just tying my hair down with, with an elastic band because ever since i switched to use an elastic band i like can't go back like it just works so well you guys can see up close my knots again of my hair i just wanted to show you guys like how well it looks it looks so good i'm just so happy but yeah so in the um video of um when eric and tay did Jania's hair i noticed that he did baby hairs but not too many so i honestly only did baby hairs on one side of my head and i noticed that he did like one large swoop so that's what i was going for as well so you guys can see here i just did two swoops on one side and the other side i did no baby hairs and Honestly, it was actually a really natural look, which I actually liked, so. That was it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys gained some information, some tips. And like I always say, leave some tips down below, some suggestions as well for me on my next hair install video. But I think I'm getting pretty good at these videos. I have, I have a lot of fun with these videos. These videos are a lot of work. It takes a lot of work, a lot of tedious work, and I, I just... I'm just, I just get so excited with how the outcome looks because everything just turns out perfectly fine and it just makes me so happy to see that I did all this myself, which makes me even more happy. But yeah, that was just for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.